What a year it has been for the UTSA Roadrunners. Over the course of the past five seasons, UTSA has fought from the bottom to the very top of Conference USA, having captured their first ever Conference USA Championship. Today, UTSA goes for their first ever bowl game victory in the Liberty Bowl against the Army Black Knights. It's been an incredible run for the UTSA football team over the past few seasons. This year they won their first ever conference championship and they became nationally ranked in the top 25 for the first time. They come into this game number 20 in the nation as UTSA looks to cap off their most successful football season with not only a conference championship, but a victory in the Liberty Bowl. With 11 total wins on the season, as well as the Conference USA title, it's time for UTSA to finish what they started. UTSA has won the toss and has elected to receive, and the Liberty Bowl is underway with Danny Moss back deep at his own two. He feels the kick and runs right up the middle, following blockers and is down about the 26-yard line. The junior quarterback Eric Hancock leads the way for this runner offense coming out in the twin tight end set to begin the game. Handoff, first play, banks up the middle, not much room, a gain of one. UTSA comes in with a seven game win streak at second down and nine. Hancock play action, dumped off the top of the tight end. A block from Stevens across the 40 and knocked out of bounds just shy of midfield. And now on second down and 10, two tight ends in the formation once again. Hancock. Dumped off over the middle, it's caught by Todd for a second catch on the day across the 40 in Army territory at first down. They'll go three wide split backs in the backfield, shotgun formation on third down and six. Hancock to throw with plenty of time. In the pocket, waiting downfield and behind his intended receiver, Darren Rose. Here comes the field goal unit with James Benson from 52 yards out. Hold by Newton, kick is up and James Benson gets UTSA on the board first. 3-0 here in the Liberty Bowl. Our first time seeing the Army offense today led by quarterback Josh Cade, the sophomore. UTSA does not have much experience facing an option offense. And so a very new look today as Dobbs takes the pitch, breaks a tackle of four, and then is brought down for a gain of five. Not sure how much passing we can expect today, but it was Kyle Nichols last week with three interceptions in the fourth quarter, helping UTSA secure that victory as Cade takes the pitch. It's a gain of two, and he is down. So third down and three, the first third down today for Army as Cade fakes, and he is down in the backfield, Brandon Ford, he forces fourth down. Take two for the UTSA offense that came away with three points in their first drive, two tight ends, second down, Hancock outside of the sideline, and Rose makes the catch, they'll say inbounds, here's a look at the replay, has that right foot, do I'm not sure about that. Surprisingly, no challenge from Army. Hancock now stretch hand off to Banks outside. Good block from Stevens across the 20, inside the 10, and Banks is finally corralled inside the five. It's first down and goal. And now they're threatening from the one yard line. I formation as Moss is the halfback. Up the middle, he dives forward and breaks the plane. Danny Moss with the first touchdown on the day for UTSA. A fast start for the Roadrunners, exactly what they were looking for. 10-0 UTSA here in the second quarter. Army on offense, handoff. It's Rice up the middle as Army gets a good gain on first down. It's eight. Army still looking for their first first down as UTSA's linebacker core is rock solid with Brandon Ford, Dominic Carter, as well as Kyle Jones. And this is Rice up the middle. The first first down is attained, a three-yard gain. Changing up the formation, now it's a wishbone for Army as UTSA adjusts. NK drops back to throw, shakes off a sack, and now fires to the sideline deep, and it's almost intercepted by Kyle Nichols. Mr. Three Interceptions one week ago finishes off this Army drive with a pass breakup. Five minutes, 50 seconds to play in the second quarter as Eric Hancock goes back to work. Handoff, it's Banks up across the 25-yard line close to the 30. Banks looking for his second straight 1,000-yard season. Needs 95 yards on the day as Hancock's throw is caught by Tim Whitaker for a first down. It's Whitaker and Rose on the outside. Two tight ends left for Hancock under center on third down and six. Hancock fires middle cut by Whitaker for a first down as he crosses the 50 and has now broken Cam Jones' career receiving record at UTSA. And now in Army territory with a new set of downs. Stretch play left. Banks looking for room on the outside. Nice juke, a broken tackle. And now he's brought down above the 33-yard line. It's a first down for Anthony Banks. Banks now needs only 32 yards to amass 1,000 in two straight years. First down and 10. It's Randy Jones underneath. Good block from Whitaker across the 20. And Jones is brought down inside the red zone. 
Jones had two touchdown catches in the Conference USA Championship. He's out with Rose to the right, and Hancock fires middle. Jones makes the catch up to the goal line. Touchdown, UTSA. Randy Jones works the slot to perfection, gets open over the middle, and Hancock hits him for a touchdown strike. And now 17-0 UTSA all over Army here in the first half. Three minutes and change to play before halftime as Cade out of the backfield. It's caught by Rice. First down and the knocked out of bounds. Army trying to string some first downs together. It's a new set now with UTSA dropping back into his zone and Cade fires outside to Bungum who makes a catch in front of Nichols. Plenty of UTSA fans made the trick here to Memphis. You can hear him on third down. Toss out the Dobbs. First down as he jukes and now spins his way from defenders and is brought down by four to the 45 yard line. And now a new set of downs inside UTSA territory. Army driving their most successful drive so far. Cade steps up. He wants the run and he escapes the defense across the first down marker in a gain of 11. Army driving on the edge of field goal range as Cade will throw again. UTSA rushes four and Cade lobs it outside. Open is Bungum in front of A.J. Brown. He has the first down at about the 20. And first down and 10 for Josh Cade as he fakes the handoff and down he goes. It's Dominic Carter flying in and taking down Josh Cade. So far Dominic Carter and Brandon Ford containing this option attack. And now Cade tosses to Smith. It's a pass and he throws it out of the back of the end zone. A trick play that did not work. Fourth down. Army just trying to get on the board. It's a 32 yard field goal attempt left hash. Snap down, kick up and it's 17 to three in favor of UTSA as Army goes 12 plays and it ends in three points. Still time for UTSA to drive. One minute, 25 seconds plus three timeouts and Hancock is throwing. Outside, cut underneath by Stevens. He makes a move and is down for a gain of nine. And now two receivers right, two tight ends left, including Richie Battle, and Hancock outside, intercepted! It's Jones with a robbery at the 30, and he's gonna go to the house! Army with the pick six! And all of a sudden, they're back in this football game as Hancock did not like what he saw downfield for the check down to Rose, but there came Jones flying down with the coverage, and Hancock threw it right to him, and all of a sudden, 17-10, Army's back in this football game. And we're going to head into halftime. UTSA does lead 17-10, but Army has scored 10 unanswered points, including a pick six thrown by Eric Hancock. UTSA does have the lead, but has to settle down in the second half and regain control of this game as they try to win their first ever bowl game here in the Liberty Bowl. One half in the books is it was UTSA getting out to an early 17-0 lead behind a touchdown run by Danny Moss and a pass from Eric Hancock to Randy Jones. But back came Army with a field goal followed by a pick six. It's 17-10 as we enter the third quarter. It is Army football. They're down by seven to the drive down the field and tie this game up. Second down for Cade as he fakes and there's Brandon Ford again. Cade goes nowhere, a loss of one. And Ford and Carter off the edge. They're flying in, making plays. Now third down, Cade off balance. Lobs it deep. It's tipped around and almost picked off by Dallas Johnson. But it is fourth down. What will we see from UTSA's offense here in the second half? They're up by seven, a split shotgun look, a handoff to Taylor, and he has speed to the outside across the 30. And Taylor, the freshman, takes it for a first down. Shotgun formation, banks to the right of Eric Hancock. He's blocking along with the tight end, Stevens, and Hancock has time to find Whitaker over the middle, making the first down grab, getting inside the 15. This time, a three wide set on first down and 10 out of the shotgun. Hancock throwing, and good coverage downfield, and down goes Hancock in the backfield for a loss of seven. UTSA sticks with a three wide shotgun set this time Jones to the right of the formation and Hancock with time lobs to the end zone and the pass is intercepted by White in front of Trevor Stevens. Hancock trying to lob it to his big tight end in the end zone and did not lead him enough. Interception Army. Army's defense getting him back in this game with a pick six and now stopping UTSA from amassing any more points in their last drive. Handoff Rice the fullback up the middle for a gain of eight. Second down and short. And Cade fakes, now runs option left, and no pitch as he's down after a gain of zero. On third and short, Dobbs in motion, Cade option right, pitches to Dobbs, and Dallas Johnson's all over at a loss of three. So far, the option has not posed a big threat to UTSA's defense. They're back with the football, up by seven as Stevens makes the catch. A nice bullet pass from Hancock. He has a first down beyond the 45. New set of downs with the I formation in play. It's battle leading the way for Banks as he runs up the middle for a gain of six yards. And he's eight yards away from 1,000. Hancock with Banks behind him, a twin tight end set. Second down and four. 
Hancock evading pressure, rolling right off balance, throw is incomplete in the dirt in front of Stevens. So third down and four, trips left this time for Eric Hancock. It's a rollout pass to the left as Hancock sets and fires downfield, almost intercepted, intended for Trevor Stevens. It is fourth down and four. And UTSA's offense really struggling right now. Army needs to take advantage. Dobbs in motion. Kate fakes and now turns around. Pitch back. Football the loose ball. Andre Ross recovers. Touchdown, Roadrunners. The errant pitch bounced off of Brandon Ford. And Andre Ross, the heads-up defender, scooped and scored. Eight-yard fumble recovery for a touchdown. UTSA's defense turns a fumble into six points. It's now a 14-point game late in the third quarter. Man in motion, Cade fakes and spins around. Into the backfield, it's both Brandon Ford and Kyle Jones, a loss of two on the play. UTSA stacks the box, a single high safety look. Smith in motion, here's the blitz, and Cade evades pressure. Pass outside, almost picked off by Dominic Carter. A tough third down and 12 for Army. Dobbs out wide and Cade will throw over the middle and it's knocked down by Brandon Ford forcing fourth down and long. And with 20 seconds to play in the third quarter, Army is punting back to the freshman. Vince Taylor from the 39 yard line. Up the middle, cut into the outside now. Across the 50, good return by Taylor close to a 20 yard return. Third down and nine for the runners. Split shotgun look three wide from the Army 40 yard line. Hancock takes the snap with time, fires, and Rose has the ball ripped from his hands. Fourth down, Army stays alive. Chris Reed back to punt for UTSA as here's his kick angling towards the pylon. It's going to bounce inside the 10, and Holmes is down there, and he downs at the two-yard line. Excellent special teams. Army backed up to their own end zone. You cannot have a safety here. Fullback dive to Rice up the middle of the five-yard line, giving them some breathing room. It's third down and six, and the crowd gets loud for the UTSA Roadrunners defense. Cade sets up a screen left, caught by Rice of the one, up to the ten, and brought down by Johnson. He is two yards shy. Five minutes to go in the game. 14-point lead for UTSA. Hancock's throw. He hits the seam to Stevens at the 30-yard line. First down. And now Evan Newton in the Wildcats. Anthony Banks in motion as Newton fakes and he's scrambling. He fires the battle who makes the catch. A man misses into the 15 and Richie Battle takes UTSA to the red zone. Evan Newton still in the game. Wildcat formation. Banks in motion. And Newton running the option to the left. And they have room. Pitch back to Banks inside the five and brought down inside the first down marker. In the Wildcat for the third straight play from the two yard line. Newton. Takes the snap and he steps up into the end zone. Touchdown, UTSA. Evan Newton comes up for three Wildcat plays, gets two first downs, and caps it off with a two-yard rushing touchdown. UTSA surprised everybody by sending out Evan Newton, and he extends the UTSA lead to 21. Cade firing over the middle, caught by Dobbs. Ball is loose, recovered by Anthony Allen, and UTSA has turned over Army once again. Brandon Ford of the hit, he forces the fumble, and Anthony Allen is there to make the recovery. The ball will be back in the hands of the UTSA offense after this big hit by Brandon Ford. UTSA with a comfortable 21 point lead, three and a half minutes to play. Three wide shotgun set as Hancock fires to Rose who makes the catch for a first down. Three wide shotgun for Hancock, Randy Jones is slot right. Snap to Hancock, he's throwing, lobs to the end zone for Jones who makes the touchdown grab! Randy Jones with number two on the day, perfect touch from Eric Hancock, he got that right foot down and the lead is extended. Under two minutes to go, UTSA 38, Army 10, Scott in at quarterback, he fakes the handoff and Andrew Ross in the backfield this time, the 6'7 Canadian sets down the quarterback for a loss of two in the backfield. Third down and five, UTS had the two deep safety look. Split backs for Cade as he drops back to throw. Rolls to his right. And at the 50 yard line, he's going down. It's a sack on the play by Buster Mitchell. And on fourth down, Army is just going to punt it away to Vince Taylor. Under one minute remaining. Taylor from his own 16 yard line feels the punt. Now comes to the near side and is brought down about the 20 yard line. UTSA in the victory formation. Eric Hancock takes the knee, and UTSA is your Liberty Bowl champions. The season has been completed. UTSA goes 12-2, wins the Conference USA Championship, and finishes the season with a Liberty Bowl victory over Army. 38-10 is your final. What a finish to a very, very fun season for UTSA football. 
and what a journey it has been over the past five seasons. UTSA entered the FBS five years ago after their first ever college football season, and they entered the Conference USA as one of the youngest teams in the nation, and they struggled their way going 3-9 and nine in their first two years in the FBS. But we saw the evolution of this team unfold over the past few years with players such as Dominic Carter, Kyle Nichols, Darren Rose, Tim Whitaker, Eric Hancock, Anthony Banks, all these players have helped reshape this team and turn them into a winner here in the Conference USA, taking them from the basement of Conference USA all the way to the championship in five seasons. It's been a very incredible and exciting experience. I'm happy to have shared it all with you. And from myself, Mr. Hurricane, I want to thank you guys for supporting the UTSA Dynasty. It's been an incredible series. I'm sad to see it end. And I want to thank you guys for helping make this series what it was. All the way from the beginning with the Evans Okaja for Heisman campaign, all the way to this Liberty Bowl championship, it has been an incredible run, and I hope you all have enjoyed the experience. Thank you all for watching and supporting the UTSA Roadrunners Dynasty.